This is my upcoming project. It's a 1994 Chevy Silverado 1500 OBS. I know I said I wasn't going to take no more projects, but I just took this one and another one around about the same time. It's a Chevy Camaro, but I'll show you it on a later video. This OBS here is Southern Chevy TV. Same owner of Ruby, the box Chevy I just painted. I'm going to give you a walk around it. He had already upgraded some stuff on it, like the tail lights. And see, I think he put the mirrors on it too. But you can go check this channel out and see all the stuff he done before I had got it. The mirrors, I know he did the cow hood. And I think he did the headlights also. He put the wheels on it. Take him inside. He did the sunroof too. I got some of the stuff out here that I'm gonna be doing to it. I got a paintable bumper. I'm gonna change the bump out. Got the roll pan right here. The roll pan and the wing on the back tailgate. These little two pieces here. They go on the side. Yeah. Figure out which way they go. Yeah, like this here. They go like that. I'm gonna be putting them on, fiberglass in them on. Okay, here's all the material that Southern Chevy TV purchased for the truck. It's all by Eurocam. I'm gonna take you through everything. What he got? We got a silly here. It's the color seal 2K. It's white, the same color as the truck. We got the reducer, we got the activator. We got the base coat here. It's a slick base, stellar silver, metallic base coat. We got the candy coat. It's an eye candy, upper red, urethane candy. Then we got two gallons of clear coat. Then we're using a glamour clear coat. Then we got some metal flake here. We're going to put that in the base coat. We got some cups and the pamphlets. So stay tuned for all the videos. It should be coming up shortly. Got the OBS in the booth. I'm finna, my first task on this OBS here. I'm gonna put the SS wing on it. Got it here. I have to fiberglass and mold it in place. These the two side pieces. That's the fiberglass. I've been trying to get everything what I'm thinking I'm going to need. Probably need some more stuff along down the line. But I know I'm going to need some fiberglass resin, bundle glass, sandpaper, chip brush, tape measure. I got some flap this here. Masking tape, pencil. Got some saws down there. Let me set the wing up there so you how it actually go on. It sits like this. When you're doing it, you want to put the middle piece on first. Then you can line the two small pieces up with the middle piece. You don't want to put the small pieces on first and try to line it up from there. Alright, the next task for me for this OBS, I'll be installing this roll pan. I did the SS wing. If you want to see how I done it, I have it popping up and I also put it down in the description. But our first step would be removing this bumper. Might as well remove the tailgate and get it out the way and the tail lights. But let me take care of that by removing this bumper. Then I'll cut you back on. We'll move on.
the 1994 OBS pulled in the booth. I'm gonna do some more work on it. As you can remember, I done the SS wing and the roll pan. I have them videos in the description on how I done it. I also have them popping up. And in the comment section, some folks were saying why didn't I shave the handle? Which at first I wasn't planning on doing it, but since somebody had mentioned it, I was like, why not? So I had hollered at Southern Chevy TV, asked him, do you want it done? And he said, sure. So I had ordered one off eBay, and I got it sitting here. It's a tailgate handle relocator. It's for 88298. They got C10. Got it unboxed. This the relocator here. See, so it got three spot wheels on the back side. Well, actually six, three on each side. It's showing through, but it don't matter because I'm gonna put a bed liner and I'm gonna bed line this too. But it got six screws, but I'm thinking about using rivets instead of screws. And it got the plate display here. Once you take the hand off, you're going to have to wear that plate on. Then we'll have to do some body work. Just move it on out. So, I guess we're going to get started. Installing it. Well, it's time to jump back on the OBS short bed, Silverado. I've been switching back and forth from project to project. I got three of them at the same time. I got that Camaro, the Mustang, and this here. So it's time for the OBS short some love. Which I would have done the roll pan, and I saved the handle, and did the SS wing. I have them videos down in the description and I also have them popping up. But this body work should be a breeze because it ain't nothing amazing. I see a little ding here and a ding now, but it ain't no major dents. I know I gotta straighten this out because Southern Chevy TV he said he had dinged it up when he was putting a cow hood on. What you could see. It's been sitting outside because I had some in the booth. Because it got tree sap and leaves everywhere. But we're gonna take care of that before we start finding all the dings and dents because we have to clean it up first. We can't find them with all this tree sap on. All right, we got everything on the inside now. I can show you what I got. We got the new one, this the old one. Then we got this piece here. It doesn't have the holes for the tow hooks. And got the mirrors and the handles. We're gonna paint them also. We got the paintable bumper. The big difference, they don't have the molding. And we got two grills. We got a GMC and a Chevy. I just got to take the old Chevy sign off this one here. Then I'll be good to go. I'm going to color match it. But he don't have the GMC, so I guess he's going to have to order that one. I think he's going with a Tiara grill. 
in the long run. That's why he went with the GMC also. But he's going to put the Chevy on that first. So we're going to paint both of them. We're going to get the old pieces out. And then we're going to start prepping up to paint these. We'll actually be getting some paint on the OBS on this video. My plan is to paint the door jams and up under the hood. So my first step is taking the doors off, also the hood off. And once I do that, I'll cut you back on, take everything in the booth, and get started. Got the doors and the hood off. I had some help this time. Southern Chevy TV, he just left. I didn't get a video of it because we was too busy trying to get all this before you leave taken care of. And I also got the bed off. I needed that help in here now. Because I was trying to figure out how I was going to do it just by myself. But we got it taken care of. Me, Southern Chevy TV, and my partner Justin, he helped us out too. So I'm good to go now. I can start spraying it up. But we're gonna take care of them doors and the hood first. Since we finished up painting the door jams and up under the hood, now we finna concentrate on the truck itself. We're gonna do the jams on the truck. We're gonna paint them. We also gonna paint the jams up under the hood. And I'm thinking about trying to remove some of this stuff here so I can paint the front wall, at least some of it, and the sides here. Also here, yeah, ain't nothing but this jug on this side. And I probably paint this front part here because the other parts you you won't never see. Look like it got a little rust trying to pit. American Racing Wheels off the Chevy Silverado OBS. Southern Chevy TV want me to paint them the same exact color as the truck going, just with the red at right here. And this center cap, the center of it, and we're gonna put a Chevy sign to cover up the American Racing. But before we do anything, we gotta clean them up. As you can see, 
It's a lot of dirt on them. So let's take care of that. It's a pretty day today, so what better day to start back on the OBS? My last video on the OBS was uh, I painted the wheels, and the one before that, I think I had did this engine bay. I think that was the video. So we finna start back painting. We're gonna paint the OBS first, the cab. I was gonna paint the bed first, but I'm gonna wait on Southern Chevy TV to come up with some more material, and it'll help me move the bed in the booth so I can pull the cab in the booth by myself once I put the wheels on. But we got all our supplies here, what we gonna need for starting the wet sanding. I got some 320, all the different brands. This Evercoat, this 3M, and this Gator, Gator Grit. But the 320, it's Evercoat, 400, it's the 3M, and 600. I can use either grit because the base coat it'll cover it'll cover the 320 scratches but it might take one more coat but it's best to use 600 it might take longer to sand it all depends on what you're trying to sand but let me show you I got a little land I need to get out here it's not no hard land but I can feel the grit of the flake the, the uh, mini flake I put in it I can feel the grit so I'm gonna use 400 It'll take care of everything, and I, I should be able to paint right over it with the base coat. So I'm not going to worry about the 320 or the 600. I got me some cut in half. I'm just going to drop two sheets in my soapy water. And I use some dish detergent and hot water. I got a rag in here also. I'm just going to let it soak for about two to three minutes. And I got two soft blocks. This is a rigid block. This a flex block. I'm just gonna drop both of them in there also. And I also have some Scotch Sprite to get around spots like like this here. But I should be able to get that with the sandpaper. But I'll just say for instance, spots like this, which the bed gonna be up against, so I can hit that with some Scotch Sprite and be good up in here. And I gotta do some of the parts like a little. A little bit from inside the jams because the overspray is going to get in there a little bit. So I'm going to have to scuff that up so the paint will stick. So we're going to get started once, once I let my sandpaper soak.
this is my next task. I need to paint the bed so I can go ahead and put it back on the frame. We can move on. I finished painting the cab. But you can see it's been sitting out, so it's got a lot of dust and dirt on it. So we're going to clean it up first before we do anything. Then we'll start wet sanding the outside of it and go from there. Also gonna be burying these decals in clear coat while we flow coating it. The 400 SS going on each side right here, and the Chevy sign going on the tailgate. And I also got some Pennywise decals coming in in the mail. They haven't came yet. They're going somewhere up here because I'm trying to cover up this mishap that I had when I was painting it. You can barely see it, but it's right here. So I'm gonna try to cover this up with the Pennywise because that's the name of this truck and we're going to put each decal on each side but it's a couple of reasons why folks flow coat which I'm not painting no real paint booth so I'm going to get trash and bugs and everything else in my paint so but I always cut and buff anyway but I'm still going to flow coat to knock this texture down before I cut and buff because the texture came from the micro flake I had put micro flake in my base coat, so I got texture. So I'm gonna knock that down and shoot three more coats clear on it. Some folks flow coat to uh, keep from buffing. And what you're doing when you flow coat, just think it like this. When you're painting, each coat you put on, it's gonna be more orange peel. And when you're spraying candy, just say you put three coats of base on, three coats of candle, on, then three coats of clear. That's nine coats. So just think how much orange peel done built up with all them coats. So with the flow coat, with your last coat of clear, you cutting all that orange peel down. You see that orange peel there? Orange peel and texture. You cutting all that down, making it one smooth surface. So when you do put your last three coats of clear, you're starting off smooth. You ain't starting off with no rough Peel. So we're going to do that. And we're going to start sanding with 600 grit. But I got a, I got a run here. I'll probably knock it down with 400. Let me see if I can show it to you. It's not picking up. But it's a run right here. Alone now. I might knock it down with 400 just to knock it down faster than 600 but we got two different blocks we got a rigid block and we got a flex block we're going to be using both of them I got a rag and I'm just going to cut this in half and put it in the water let it soak for a few minutes then we'll get started
All right, it's been two days. Now what we'll do, we'll go ahead and unmask this section here. Then we'll start masking the rest of the bed off where we don't want no bed liner. Also on the tailgate. Next task on the OBS is blacking out the inner fender wheels. As you can recall, when I had did the engine bay, I packed the engine bay and I had repaired the inner fender wheels because it was surface rust and it had a little rust here now. And I had already primed them so we don't have to worry about cleaning it or doing that. But we're going to do the inner fender wheels on the cab, also on the bed. trying to make this area here flat so I can paint it. Let me put these on and show you. See, I'm going to make this area flat and paint it. I could either do it two ways. I could shave these fans off and then fiberglass that area. But I'm thinking about just filling these fans up with spray foam and fiberglass on top of them. Keep it moving for us to OBS. I'm about to paint the interior pieces black. As you can see now, it's the factory blue. I got a little dash pad here. I'm gonna have to re-glue it because this glue that says and shave TV put on it, it's not sticking, so I'm just gonna take it up and re-glue it. Let me take you around here. I done took most of the trim pieces off because I did it when I had painted the jams. I just gotta take this one here off. And mainly the pieces on the dash, some of the pieces that I don't want to paint. Or is this here and this. And I think I'm gonna paint the uh, this little bezel piece. I think I'm gonna paint that can the red. Not exactly sure right now, but I'm gonna take you around here right quick.
I got to pull it in a shop. And then we can start cutting and buffing. I had a few runs, as you can recall, on my when I painted it. I got a run here. I don't think the camera picking it up. Also on this hood, it done got dust. I had it sitting here overnight. But I got there's some sags. See the camera, it's not picking it up, but it's some sags here. Some sags along this bottom line here. Start putting this truck back together. We got some unboxing we got to do. One of them the GMC style headlights, and the other one is the Chevy style because I got a GMC grill and a Chevy grill. But we going to tin them up. We're going to put a little tin on them, and that's what this video here is going to be about. So let me take them out and I'll show you what I got.
yet the damn come. No doubt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. All right, man. Stop. Right from the bottom to the top, from the